Okay, are you ready to watch another video and maybe see some cheesy edits that have nothing to do with said video? All right. Well then, welcome to Tenome and Beyond. Thanks for watching. Okay, so it's what? 60 degrees outside. The warmest day so far this year. We're gonna go for a little walk down uh, uh, that way, the beach. Yeah, so the arrow here points to the East Beach, which is where we were going. East Beach, that way. We're going to walk that way. Yeah, I think we've firmly established which way we're going here. I think we're going that way. Which way are we going to walk? That way. That way. All right, so that's enough of that crap now. Let's, let's just move on. Let's just stop. All right, moving on. Sorry about the audio. It's kind of windy. But this is what the rusting tractor farm. <laughs> it's like a museum. It's like an outdoor museum. What's that? The rusting mining yeah, the rusting mining equipment museum. One of these ones I have a picture on my Facebook page uh, that some of you mentioned and found interesting. This is it right here. Because uh, it was made in the Twin Cities. Some people even know the company name that would have made it. Buddy I work with was like, oh, it would have been the blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like Caterpillar. Black. An old Caterpillar, look at how it's, it's even written on there. Yeah, That's pretty cool. They got these old boilers, big old boilers. I know Tad Jensen right now is probably like, I would play with every one of those things if I could get them working. Fairbanks. Fairbanks Morse. So steampunky. Uh, it is very steampunky. This summer, coming to a theater near you, Steampunk Penguin. These old, and then this, <laughs> and one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> the old dredge, which is what the guy out there is probably on something like this with the platform on it. Yeah, it could be a little bit older, but here's a more modern caterpillar. Modern, modern caterpillar. But yeah, there's all this, this old old equipment from early days, old, earlier days of gold mining. Wires and rope. Yeah, look at that. That's a hell of a rope. For one of the buckets, probably like an, this is like a scoop bucket or whatever. Look at this thing. It's a little destroyed. Another little earth mover. But this one's badass. Look at this thing. I wonder if this was that bucket there. This was like a crane thing and there was an arm that lifted that bucket up. Cause this almost looks like it was some sort of crane system. And the dude would have stood up there pulling on the levers. Ah, pretty neat. Anyway, out there, which I might be able to zoom in, but it'll probably ruin the resolution. Is somebody already diving for gold? Oh yeah, they do the Franksy Gold Winter spot over here, but that's the first boat I've seen of the summer out there. Uh, we're going to head down here. There's a beach down there. We're going to go down there and see what's going on. Looks like there might even be a little ice there up against the shore. So we're going to go check it out. So here we are. There's still some ice on the shore here. Yeah, most of it's gone, but a little bit. There's a lot of runoff still coming out of these culverts. Coming off the, down out of the mountain. 
and they run down to these culverts so the road doesn't wash out because you can see how the road would wash out if it wasn't for the culvert 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 i think somebody lost their uh part of their motor <laughs> i think they better put that back on and they're not going to go very far they lost it a while ago oh i think that's old <laughs> maybe that's old uh, it could be old <laughs> Here's where the ice is still rotting out. That thing is way undercut. You're probably standing where you are. You're being undercut, I'm sure. Oh, I'm, sure. I'm sure the beach line's right here. No, I think you're right on the line. <laughs> you never know. And then... I mean, like, you got these sinkholes, too, right? Look at that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, up here we're on top of frozen, and it's still frozen in the sand up here. <laughs> so you can see where areas where it melts out like that, it just goes plunk. Hi, Seagull. Berg out there. Yeah, hanging off the end. Yeah. It's too bad you can't walk out there. It's a cold explorer. They had a boat. No, because it's going up and down with the water. I don't think it is. Yeah. Slush factor 3000. Look, more water park. I think somebody's knocked over a Napa and left all these motor parts out here on the beach. I think we should call somebody. Who should we call? Ghostbusters. They're all ghost. They're all ghost parts. They're all old and ghosty. Yeah. Did you see the grasses? Did you see the grasses? Did you see those grasses? That boy ain't right. Yeah, somebody's slow machine evidently ran out of gas before they were able to get it up off the beach and everything. And everything else. If that happens, though, they tend, people tend to leave them where they, they go. You got tiny little, little plants. Yeah. Popping up through the. Foggy, we're heading back home now. We're uh, just a block off front down there is the hospital, way down at the end of the road. We're just up here, a uh, couple of blocks where those four wheelers are. So we're gonna end it with that. 
I know it was exciting. It was a rip roaring laugh a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Okay, bye.